I mean, if you watch like the worlds from this last year, sorry, that is completely so removed from Y Road because right. it was all like real natural stuff. It's completely changed. Oh, yeah. So it's, back, it's like it, was, now. it was very much so. Ah. But so before when I was doing it, it was all real natural, like hardly. That's like when you I've maybe seen you'd have well. one, almost like a motorbike trial where you'd have one indoor style section at the end. Yeah. If very rarely, but you'd have maybe one one competition a year that would have one of them in. Yeah. Other than that, it was all like natural. Yeah. So basically, it was just like I'd just ride that stuff, just ride natural stuff. I'd like go ride rocks, go ride, you know, you, you know, sort of thing, side ups, from, you know, all that sort of natural, just, yeah. just sort of, yeah, ride that like most days and just push yourself bigger, harder, slippier, trying different stuff, you know, like just, yeah, just doing that all the time. So it'd just be like a challenge. You'd set yourself a start point yeah. and then an end point. Yeah, and then it'd be yeah, like floor is lava in between. Yeah, replicate it if you really wanted to. Put a couple of rocks there just to like, you know, keep yourself honest. But it'd all be in your edge, you know. It'd be like, use this, use that, use that, use that, don't use that, don't, you know. Yeah. And then, and it would, all, you'd always be like, you, you, the aim would be obviously to get through something without putting your feet down. But a lot of my problems were like, from a competition base rider, I'd also like to make it look nice and yeah. fluid. And I'd be very strict on myself. I'd come into stuff and be like, oh, I, this, you know, like you could take technical dabs. Like, so you'd come up to something that you thought, I could come into this and make a real mess of it and get a five, which is the highest score, which yeah. is bad. Yeah. Not like golf, you know, like it's, you know, it's like the same thing, you know, <laughs> like it's high score, bad, yeah. you know. Or you could come into it, take a technical dab where you'd put your, like ridiculous, put your foot on something, be safe and know that you could get out with like just one point instead of five. Yeah. And I'd be looking at it thinking, if I came in this flat out and hit that rock there, I'd be on top of that, no problem. And everybody's yeah. like, just go in and taking the dab and quit and be like, Chris, don't do that. Don't do that. I'd be like, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> be like, have it in my head straight away. But just like, everybody would be looking at it thinking, I'll come in here. You could almost see him preparing himself to fail. It's really? Like, and I'd be just like, five or nothing. Fuck it, I'm going for this. Yeah. Like, this is going <laughs> yeah. to be the best stand back. I would be a sort of thing, you know. <laughs> what was like your relationship then to competing? Were you actively trying to win these events or you were a bit more sort of, I'm here to do something that makes you feel accomplished as a rider? Um, Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I think a bit of both. Like, I mean, at world level, obviously, like, you know, I think I pretty much always knew that I was never, I don't know whether I really, really took it I took it seriously, mm. but I almost like I always knew that like maybe I just didn't have that like just there. I was fairly close, like I was you know I was I was good level, yeah. you know, um, and I was like fighting for you know good top fives and stuff. But like that, to, mm. I just I just don't think I was that. Sounds horrible. Like thinking back, I don't know if I was actually that. I enjoyed riding yeah. and doing silly stuff on my bike. Yeah, and yeah, it'd be great. Did you, ha did you have to compete though? Because I guess back then there's not the YouTube, -y, you know, that sort of side. Do you have to compete in order to drive sponsorship in order to like make it a job? Yeah, it? I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you got good, I mean, like British British stuff was like pretty much sorted. Yeah, yeah, I think I don't know how many times, but it was like five or six times British champion. Okay. So I was like pretty all right at that, you know. If I was yeah. there and I was riding well, yeah. I felt pretty confident, you know. Yeah. So and obviously, like, but it wasn't. I think even now people struggle to get a good one. You know, no matter how good you are at trials, it's all, it's quite a trick. Like, un unless you're doing demos, okay. I think it's, or unless you're maybe like top. What do you mean like it's tough to make it? To get, get brass. Like, I mean, yeah. even Martin's yeah. went away and started doing demos and getting like outside sponsors. Like, you know, obviously like Martin was Volvo Candle and stuff and he was doing demos fucking however many times a week and <laughs> yeah, stuff. And, hardly on it, yeah. And I, and I was like, because obviously at that point I was just working at the shop and getting a little bit from just sponsors. I didn't need much money because I didn't mm. at that point have a house or anything. I'm just like, I'm chilling, like I don't need, you know. And then it was like, once the well, Nick Larson got involved with him and I got onto Mongoose, okay. Hot Wheels UK. And then obviously like things like the Fixie video that I did, the first Fixie video, that was a thing all of a sudden. And I just went and Nick was like, oh, just grab this fixie, go and make a video. So I did that and that did really well. Yeah, I can't remember. There was another video, like a re like just like super easy for me to do. Like, you know, I just jump on board, trials background. What do I need to do? Just jump on it, just make it, you know, just, I don't know. Like, and then it just turned out that like what I did on that bike was completely different to anybody that had anything done. I didn't even know there was a scene. Right. And I was just like, all of a sudden just got this bike and everybody was like, it was a big scene when it kicked off on it. The fixie yeah, thing. fixie was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And um, So that sort of got me a bit, 
noticed within like the video stuff and then I was like, all oh, right, this is this is interesting. This is what I need to do. Yeah. So then obviously like Nick got me to do a couple more videos and then we just went to Mongoose and basically took them and made a plan and just went, this is what I'm going to do each month. I just mm-hmm. put like picture of a different bike on each month and went, I'm going to do a video on a BMX, on this, on that, you know, and then down all bike and I'm going to do this and this and this and then they just went for it and just like, yeah. You'd ridden other going. bikes or was this the moment where you actually kind of discovered <coughs> other bike riding? Were you trials until a point and then did other stuff? Or Yeah, I was basically... Um, who we spoke about last night, Eddie. He'd been away, he'd rode BMX, Eddie Tung. And then we just started riding quite a lot of BMX. So I had that like trials, BMX, and we were just, I would just sort of mix in with both really at this point because I'm sort of losing the love for trials competition. I was over it. I went to the last, I knew I was over it because I went to a world champs and got there and I was just like, I, I had a five in one of the sections, obviously, like, you know, I fell off or whatever. And I was just like walking out thinking, I actually don't care. Like literally walking out thinking, do you know what? I actually don't care. And I was like, soon as soon it was like one section. I remember it so vividly. It's so weird. It was just, it was just it's just come back to me now. I was like, did one side up, and I just fell off. Not not bad. I just came off, and I was just like, do you know what? I am over this. And yeah, it was like yeah. it was like fifth. It was like fifth section in the first lap. Yeah. And I think I was like, I think Eddie might have been minding. Eddie was minding for me because we'd gone out. I had my BMX in the van as well, and we'd been doing some street riding somewhere. And like the next, this is how serious I was taking. We were doing the street ride, and then the next day I was riding trials, <laughs> world championships. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and then I was like, Do you know what? I'm done with this. Like really? we enjoyed last night making little silly videos, going yeah. street riding. That's it. Like you know, let's get let's get this. Yeah, and we had like that trip was a really cool trip. Once I'd realised, and we just rode BMX. I think we had a surfboard with us. We had like at that point like a sponsored up car, and we just drove through Europe, and just like sick, just doing that and I was like this is actually where we want to be not doing competitions just yeah. doing the other side of it the actual fun stuff yeah so let's get sponsored to do videos yeah. so that's that's basically when that started no more comps after that was that the moment the yeah, side hop th- ended it that was it yeah that was it <laughs> didn't ride another competition didn't ride another really? competition no I was just like no I was, I was just like no point what's the point in do- going to a competition if you don't want to win or yeah. do really well it's like absolutely pointless so that's why you stopped that's why I stopped yeah okay and what sort of year is this then? I remember when I said I don't really know very well at dates yeah, and stuff. Yeah, that's definitely me, mate. A long it's time ago. Goal. Everything's a long time ago <laughs> for me, but yeah, a long time ago, yeah. So it was, yeah, so that that just, yeah, that was just done. But then there was like a load of silly competitions we did, like Red Bull started getting involved in a load of weird stuff. Like okay. with like, there just seemed to be like a load of weird competitions. Like Yeah, there were at times, Like there? Um, the mini drum stuff, like that stuff. Yeah, they did that off. cornfield race. Cornfield one, yeah. Um, uphill sprinters ones yeah Cobble it was wobble. in Bristol wasn't one it one in yeah. Bristol did that threw up that was horrible <laughs> yeah I bet yeah what did you do it on I did it on a hardtail like a uh, yeah just a little hardtail like a jump bike <laughs> okay with like super light forks and like yeah. you know and I think I had like the wrong gear and I'd gone on one cobble wobble and then just presumed the one in Bristol was a, like yeah no it was like got a good set of legs on me but it was longer and just not as steep <laughs> <laughs> it's like if it had been steep it was alright this one was like halfway through that Halfway through that thing, I was just like, no, this is me, I'm done, I'm maxed out. And I think it was like a BMX rider. I think I did a tech on a BMX rider, and he was pretty rapid. Right. Obviously, like, their gate starts pretty decent. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it, I think it was him who put me on. I t- there was a guy on a road bike, and obviously he had gears, and I think that's the one, actually, because, like, he'd obviously got a good jump on me. Oh, mm. no, I got a jump on him, then all of a sudden it was like, when you see them drag races, then it's just like, <laughs> just like, hang on a minute, he's got gears. I haven't got gears. I'm absolutely fucking hanging here already. Like, <laughs> yeah, so. I'm interested in what bike is your bike that you go out riding on. What is the bike that Chris Acred goes for a ride? We're going to find out what that bike is. Okay. Okay. Hey, man, what an episode that was. You did amazing in it. And so did you. You shone like a star. You shone like a moon can we also put something up here that you can click yep. on for the next episode how about we put a subscribe up there in the middle yeah lovely we're gonna idea. put a video we think that our uh, lovely companionship yep. will love yeah on your face on my face yeah so and on can't my see me now gone and on my face another video that we think people will love and thank you for watching thank you for listening please hit like and subscribe you guys are the best peace and love